provided that you're here to follow the journey of water from the lake to the treatment plant, through the distribution system, and to your schools and homes. We hope you enjoy the journey. You may know that Little Rock has some of the best drinking water in the country. Do you know where the water comes from? In the mid-1950s, Little Rock Municipal Water Works began construction of Lake Maumel. Contractors cleared and built a dam across the Maumel River. The lake that was formed has 8,900 acres of surface area and when full, holds 72 billion gallons of water. Since Lake Maumel is lower in elevation than the Jack Wilson treatment plant in Little Rock, water must be pumped from the lake to the plant. The Lake Maumel pumping facility has seven high-service pumps which have a combined capacity of 175 million gallons per day. On an average day, around 60 million gallons is pumped from the lake. To ensure continual operation, the pumping facility also has two 3,000 horsepower diesel engines to provide backup power to two 2,000 kilowatt generators. Today, Lake Maumel is the main water supply of great tasting water to more than 450,000 residents and visitors of Little Rock, Pulaski County, and beyond. Although Lake Maumel is one of the cleanest water supply lakes in Arkansas, there are a lot of people who work every day to ensure it's the highest quality water our customers enjoy. Water from Lake Maumel is pumped nine miles through two parallel pipes, the largest of which is six feet in diameter. Chlorine dioxide is made on site by combining hydrochloric acid, bleach, and sodium chloride. Once water gets to the plant, the water surfaces here, where aluminum sulfate, also called alum, and lime are added to start the process of cleaning the water. The alum causes a sediment and other particles in the water to start to clump together or coagulate to form flock. As the water flows from the rapid mix, the mixing speed decreases, allowing the flock to get thicker and heavier before moving into the settling basins. In addition to visual inspections, pH and turbidity measurements are taken automatically. Once the water enters the large settling basins, the movement of water is slowed even further to allow the flock to settle to the bottom of the basin Motors move large flat rakes or flights along the bottom of the basins, pushing the settled flock into troughs where the flock is removed. This process removes 90 to 95 percent of the particles from the water. The next stage of treatment is filtration. The water flows from the basins to the filters, which are comprised of layers of gravel, sand, and anthracite coal. On an average day of treatment, three to four million gallons of water will flow through each of 16 filters. Over time, the filters become clogged with particles. Every few days, the flow of water is reversed in a cleansing process called backwash. Valves are closed to stop the forward flow of water and other valves are open to allow compressed air to move backwards through the filters to loosen up gravel and sand. Next, treated water flows from the wash water tanks backwards through the filters, dislodging and removing particles from the filters. This water is sent back to the beginning of the treatment process. Once the process is complete and the filters are clean, the valves are opened again to receive water from the basin. The filters are continuously monitored for pressure referred to as loss of head and turbidity, which is a measure of clarity of the water. The last stage of treatment is disinfection. The treatment of water is regulated by EPA's Safe Drinking Water Act, which requires that all treated water is disinfected to kill any germs that are in the water. Sodium hypochlorite solution, commonly known as chlorine bleach, is added as a disinfectant. Fluoride is added to improve dental health, and a phosphate solution is added to inhibit corrosion in the pipes which carry the water. In the control room, operators manage the flow of water through the treatment process and out to water towers and tanks. From these graphic displays, operators can quickly assess trends and know when to make changes. This monitor 
shows the pumps and valves that connect Lake Maumel, Jackson Reservoir, and both treatment plants. Operators can view each of Central Arkansas Water's 30 storage tanks to view pressure, flows, and tank levels, adjusting both fixed and variable speed pumps to keep them filled. They can also detect a major main break. Even with all that technology, operators still make rounds at the plant every two hours. Visual inspections are made to ensure that there is no disparity between the readings in the control room and the instruments in the treatment system. Even with an abundance of technology, it's important that operators have an eye on each step of the treatment process. This building houses sodium hypochlorite, or bleach, which is used in the final disinfection of the water. Operators confirm that dosages match the readings from the control room and make sure that there are no leaks or safety issues. In this building, chlorine dioxide is made on site. Chlorine dioxide is a strong oxidizer, which breaks down the surface protein of bacteria. The addition of chlorine dioxide to the treatment process helps meet new EPA regulations by reducing the levels of disinfection byproducts in the treated water. In this process, sodium hypochlorite, or bleach, is combined with hydrochloric acid to produce hypochlorous acid. In the next step, sodium chloride is added to produce chlorine dioxide. The state-of-the-art laboratory performs more than 1,600 analyses each week. In the microbiology laboratory, water samples from the lake, the treatment plant, and the water lines are tested to ensure that water is safe to drink and meets all regulatory requirements. Some tests involve filtering the water and others involve an enzyme test that produces a color reaction if bacteria are present. Sterile procedures are used, including the Flamia forceps and using petri dishes and filters which are certified to be sterile. This instrument is an inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer or ICPMS. It analyzes water samples for 24 different metals such as zinc, copper, and aluminum. Very small samples are taken out of each vial and put through the plasma, which ionizes the droplets into its molecular composition. Once ionized, the molecules are separated based on mass to charge ratio and quantified by the mass spectrometer. The total organic carbon analyzer tests for total organic carbon, which is the main factor in production of disinfection byproducts, such as trihalomethanes or THMs. THMs are produced when disinfectants, such as chlorine, come in contact with organic material. Over 70 compounds including disinfection byproducts, are detected by the GCMS, which is a gas chromatograph with a mass spectrometer. The auto sampler takes a sample from the vial and injects it into an instrument where it's pushed through a column. The sample is separated into individual components. Results are displayed on the computer screen in a chromatogram. The ion chromatograph tests samples for anions and cations, such as fluoride, chloride, sodium, ammonia, and potassium. All the tests in our laboratories ensure that the quality of your drinking water meets or exceeds all the regulations set by the EPA's Safe Drinking Water Act. After filtration, fluoride and phosphate solutions are added and a lime slurry is used to adjust the pH. Finally, chlorine is added to disinfect the water before it goes to the chlorine contact chamber. Underneath these fields are a chlorine contact chamber and a clear well. Each are large rectangular structures which hold 5 million gallons of water. The chambers are baffled to slow the movement of water, ensuring that the chlorine is well mixed for an appropriate amount of time. From there, it flows through the domed clear well, which also contains baffles and holds 5 million gallons. Water is pumped from water plants to 30 storage tanks throughout the system. This tank in Walton Heights contains 100,000 gallons, and this tank in North Little Rock contains 1 million gallons. 
Central Arkansas Water is proud to provide our customers with the safest, highest quality drinking water possible. Our dedicated staff, along with our cutting edge technologies and forest to faucet approach, ensure delivery of some of the best water in the country to almost half a million people every day. Central Arkansas Water is happy to serve you and your families.